is up guys this is the latest build of Aero OS on the Redmi Note 3 and this is of course based on Android Pie let me show you the settings quickly inside about phone you will find this Aero OS version here it will show it will show the Android version and stuff so on top we can see that we have the Aero OS logo and then we have the Android version Android version is 9 of course Pie and the build date over here is of April 1st 2019 and over here the security patch is of march 5th 2019 not of april by the way and the stock kernel version over here you can see is the 3.10.108 lineage os arrow os kernel let me just go back and if you go into system and over here you will find this updater so from here you can check for updates as this is an official rom you can definitely update it through this updater and here again it shows the arrow os version 9 now talking about the customizations well there are customizations but not a lot like have a OS of course so if you want customizations you have to go like inside every settings like if you go into network if you go into advanced here you can find the traffic indicator and stuff so everything is hidden inside every like option if you go into battery you will find the battery logo and stuff here you can see the battery icon i have changed it to this big dotted circle and it's there as you can see the big dotted circle of battery like icon over here and you can even change the battery percentage to show inside the icon or near the icon and we have the different kind of vaulty logo up here as you can see from here the vaulty logo looks different and cool i would say but this rom does have some problems i'll talk about them later on first of all let me show you the customizations so there are a, not a lot of customizations if you go into advanced reboot of course we do have the advanced reboot option let me show you so from here you can see we have the advanced reboot to like directly boot into recovery or fast boot you can do that and you have the like navigation bar enabling option and stuff but i guess we do not have the full screen edge gestures over here now if you go into display settings and inside fonts we have some fonts not like heavily customizable fonts like havoc os as in havoc os there are like uh, 20 30 of them but over here there are pretty less options like this is all you have so that is pretty much it you do have the google sans fonts and stuff and vaulty icon of course is there and clock and date customization is there you can change the clock and date font style or something and aosp recents is there if you want the aosp recents you can choose from here and you can customize the quick setting panel too you can change the column and row numbers you can add this brightness slider brightness slider in the bottom you can customize them so these kind of things are there pocket detection is there weather option is there and over here we have the system theme and stuff so here as you can see we have the system theme at the bottom and from here you can change the night mode and stuff if you want to you can change the background color to light dark and black and you can even change the accent colors too so these options are there but there are no customizations like the brightness lighting from the status bar gesture so those things are still not present over here and if you go into sound settings you won't find the mi audio dirac as simply mi audio dirac is not present over here the sound output via the headphone jack is good not bad but it's pretty flat and if you go into security and stuff there is a good thing that we do have this fingerprint unlock like always fingerprint unlock option is there so that black screen bug sometimes is present over here on this rom but at like one or two times of rebooting i did not see that bug but right now that lock screen black screen bug after entering pin is back and it's it sucks but we can't help it it's a like device specific bug for redmi note 3 right now but the good thing is we do have this fingerprint unlock option and it is enabled by default you don't need to enable it like manually and let me just go back we do have the smart lock and face unlock and stuff is there you can see the airway stats and like send reports back to the developers i guess now let's talk about the bad things over here now if you go into the settings of this stock launcher this is the quick step launcher by the way this does not have the double tap to sleep gesture that sucks but yeah that's how it is this is a quick step launcher so i was expecting the double tap to sleep gesture but that's simply not there over here if you swipe from the left we do have the google now cards you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and stuff but you can't simply double tap over here to like lock the screen so that is how it is now let's talk about the wi-fi connection over here i am noticing the wi-fi connectivity is pretty low as you can see right now the wi-fi shows as one bar less if you look the wi-fi signal closely and my router is right here like to the left 
on my desk there is my router but this is like pretty low wi-fi connectivity i would say so that just sucks and the bluetooth uh, bug is there so if you are connected to a bluetooth device which can receive calls and which has a mic this simply does not work with those bluetooth earphones so that is kind of a weird bug too and in the call UI, as you can see, we do have the recording call option and video call option both and Volte calls does work super fine, but do make sure you're not using a Bluetooth earphone or something to place a call because Bluetooth earphones simply does not work with this ROM. You gotta use the earpiece and or the loudspeaker. So I would say if you are someone who uses a Bluetooth headset for like all day, I would say do not go with this ROM. This might suck for you. And I did flash this ROM with micro G apps. Everything works fine. Let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the RAM management over here. So now let's open all the apps from memory. And as you can see, Chrome is in memory, Facebook is in memory, Twitter is in memory, Play Store is still in memory, YouTube is still in memory again, and Instagram is in memory again. So everything is fine. The ROM works super fine with the like memory management over here. So if you want the best memory management ROM, this might be a good option for you, but do consider the bugs which I have like said earlier. And over here, the stock camera is the Google camera, the normal Google camera, not the advanced Google camera which supports portrait mode and stuff. So this is a old Google camera, but you can install the new Google cameras if you want to, as this ROM has camera to API by default. And Google Pay by default does not work, I have to say. And if you want to use Google Pay, you need to go to the settings of apps info, then from there, find the Play Services app then just disable the phone and SMS app permission from that play services. Now talking about battery life, well battery life is not that great. I'm getting around three and a half to four hours of screen on time. Since the battery is pretty old as the device is pretty old too, I won't complain much, but yeah, you are gonna get three and a half to four hours of screen on time. Uh, like that's what I'm getting with my kind of usage. And here is the fingerprint scanner unlocking speed. So as you can see, it's not too fast, not too bad. I would say it's pretty decent. So as you can see, the fingerprint scanner unlocking speed is not bad, not good. So it's pretty decent, I would say. So that is pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.